Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time. And today I got a trailer I'm mildly excited for. Today we have the exclusive to Movie Clips trailers uh, trailer that we're going to call the Shocking Discovery trailer for the upcoming Roland Emmerich film. Hold on. Moonfall. <laughs> yes, it's Roland Emmerich. Yes, aliens live in the moon, apparently. It's big, it's dumb, it's gonna have great disaster porn, and I'm here for it. If you wanna see this trailer without my face in the way, there's a link in the description below, or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch me watch this, and then we'll geek out of it together, because, listen, it's not gonna be good, per se, but it's gonna be enjoyable, probably. I mean, even 2012, which is pretty awful, is still an enjoyable time. I can watch it, like, I get sucked into stuff like that if it comes on TV. Anyways, let me remind you, the world is weird, times are tough, things are strange, but we will get through this. We will get through this together. And of course, we like to say that out loud together every single day, daily mantra style, a little power of positive thinking, maybe a little smile on your face, a little serotonin in the brain, make you a little bit happier. Who knows? Try it. You might like it. We will get through this. We will get through this together. I'm feeling better already. Okay. I don't know, what else am I gonna say about this? It's a big dumb thing. Like, it's, I guess it's his version of when two worlds collide or something like that, which was effects-wise very influential to me as like a three or four-year-old when I first started discovering effects. But that's why I like these disaster things. I think that stuck with me as a kid. I always wanted to build like city, like models of cities and then like flood them and film it in slow motion and things like that. I was always fascinated with that. Obviously they can do so much more with computers. It, almost kind of takes the magic out of it, but then the magic is just realizing and creating these big set pieces, which I think Roland Emmerich and the people he works with tend to do really well. So, movies, who cares? But it's gonna have a fun cast. Let's check it out, let's watch. If you're watching this, then you know by now a huge problem is heading our way. An emergency meeting is being called on our usual place immediately. Three bagels. <laughs> I've made a shocking discovery. I need to get you in touch with NASA immediately. Well, NASA and I aren't really on speaking terms these days. Well, that'll change. We need to tell them that the moon is out of orbit. There's no need to panic. No, I'm crazy! Why are they lying about all this? It's too late to stop. You knew all this was happening before NASA. You are the unidentified source? Oh, yes. We're dealing with an intelligent entity. We're planning a mission to attack this thing. I'm asking you for your help. Say yes, Brian. I need you to be brave. If the moon really is what you think it is, suit up. <laughs> You have got a big gravity wave coming your way. You have to launch now. Did he say gravity wave? Trouble on the way. What in the water, guys? <laughs> uh, that's crazy. <laughs> Save the moon, save Earth. Brian, what are you doing? It's flying itself. Wait for it. Let's go, you son of a bitch. Yes! Come on! Everybody, hang on! If I get you home! It's on airplane mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might be worth going. I mean, seeing that in IMAX, if you're gonna see it, I think that's the way to do it. Um, and again, I also want to clarify too, I don't think Roland Emmer Emmerich is a bad filmmaker. He's very, at worst thing you could say, competent, um, which is still a, you know, a good thing. There's plenty of in un incompetent directors out there. Um, but you know, I mean, given good scripts and good materials, he can do some bangers. Like the original Stargate was amazing. Um, God, what soldier with Kurt Russell? I think that was him. The original Independence Day, you know, I mean, it works when he, when he gets the right elements all clicking, it clicks, but he doesn't, he, he more often than not, doesn't have all the right elements clicking. And I love like the day after tomorrow. That's probably my favorite film of his. And even Godzilla, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Zilla, 
take the god out that name because that <laughs> as its own movie i can enjoy it as a goji fan not so much but um <laughs> you know so i mean i do enjoy his stuff it looks so stupid in the best of ways, though. I mean, they're, like, jumping the car over the ravine and manage to somehow, like, Mario platform it onto this thing before they... J Come on, man. But then you get, like, like in a, and I mean that in a good way, then you get super fun stuff like, oh, we're launching a space shuttle with an incoming tidal wave, and we're launching it underwater now. <laughs> like, I just... That just looks like so much fun. Just big, have a couple of drinks, just sit back, enjoy yourself. I'm there for it, man. You know, there's all kinds of movies. This is definitely a popcorn film. It's definitely a ride film. I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. Not every movie needs to be the same type of things. I like my dark, heavy, serious, thought-provoking dramas, but I also love my big, dumb, turn-off-your-brain movies and everything in between. Uh, so, you know, variety, people. It's the spice of life. <laughs> All right, well, that's how I feel about it. How do you all feel about it? Does it look good? Have you been sold? I think I'm finally sold. I think the idea of seeing it in IMAX is the winner, so I gotta go look into tickets. But let me hear your thoughts. Definitely geek out with me in the comments. What's your favorite Roland Emmerich film? What's your least favorite Roland Emmerich film? Maybe 2012, even though I really kind of enjoy it. That's what I'm saying. Even his worst work, I really like. And I love the Independence Day Part 2. I wanted Part 3. I liked where they were going, but let me hear it. Geek out with me in the comments below. I look forward to your thoughts. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. Remember that we will get through this. We will get through this together. And that's it. So I make music. I make high energy pop punk. You may like it. You may not. It's art. It's subjective. It's not for everyone, but it could be for you. You don't know unless you go check it out. So look me up anywhere you listen to music. Look up Eric Butts. See what you think. You know, maybe you find something you like. Maybe you don't. It doesn't really hurt to try. Also, there's a lot of other ways to support the channel and get more content in the links in the description below. So click that see more button to see more butts. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to try and get some liquid in my throat because I can tell I am drying out. If, my, if I sound a little funny, major weather changes, lack of humidity, it's, it's messing with my sinuses. But um, all right, I'm going to do all that. TMI? I don't know. I'm going to do all that. Go watch some more stuff and I'll see you all later. <laughs>